Hello, welcome to this lesson of Mastering 5th Grade Math. Here we're going to, again, add mixed numbers together. We're going to use method number 2 that I'm going to teach you. Um, and you will get the same answer doing it this way that you would get if you had used the method we learned in the last section. Basically, what we're going to do this way, method number 2, is you can take each one of the mixed numbers that you're trying to add together, and you can convert them from mixed numbers to improper fractions. And then once you have them as improper fractions, you can add those fractions in the normal way and get the result, and usually you'll end up having to convert that back into a mixed number. So basically, method number one, we learned last time, we just add the whole numbers and add the fractions. Method number two here, we convert to improper fractions first, then add them, and then convert back. So let's just show you, it's a lot easier to show you than talk about it. What if we have two and a third, and we're adding to that three and a third. All right, so we want to add these guys together. Of course we can add them. We've done that this problem before actually. Um, but let's go ahead and convert each of these fractions into improper fractions. And that's easy to do. We've learned that skill in the past, so if you don't know how, go ahead and pick up the previous lessons on how to do that. The way you do it is three times two is six, plus one is seven, and you always write it over the same denominator that you started with. Here's 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10 over the same denominator. Now you have 7 thirds and 10 thirds, and you can add these together because we already have a common denominator. We keep it. 7 plus 10 is 17. Now this is the answer, 17 thirds. That's the answer, but you know this is improper. So typically when you're adding mixed numbers, you want to get the answer back in mixed numbers, so you want to convert this back. How many times will 3 go into 17? Well, 3 times 6 is 18. That's too much. 3 times 5 is 15, right? It's 15. The difference between 15 and 17 is 2, and it'll be over 3. So we get 5 and 2 thirds. That's the answer. All right? So again, we convert to improper, add, and then convert back to, back to mixed numbers. What if we have 2 and a third plus 3 and a fourth? All right? So in order to do this, we just convert each one of these into improper fractions. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. Write it as 7 over 3, 7 thirds. This one, 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 is 13, and you write it over 4 because the original denominator was a 4 there. Now, you want to add these together, but you can't do it quite so easily because you have a 3 and a 4. It goes back to that basic rule that you have to have the same denominator in order to add fractions. So what we're going to do is we'll transform both of these into a common denominator. We've done this so many times, you should see that 12 is the proper common denominator here. So we'll have 7 thirds, and we'll be multiplying this guy by 4 on the bottom and 4 on the top. The reason we're doing that is because on the top, then we will have 28, and the bottom, 3 times 4, will have 12. Now let's transform this one. We'll have 13 fourths. And we'll multiply this on the bottom by 3, and the top also by 3. So again, 4 times 3 is going to be 12. And on the top, 13 times 3. 13 times 3, if you do that multiplication, you'll get 39. 39. All right? And so we can now add these guys. Because we have two fractions, the 12 is the same denominator in both cases. So what I'm going to have is the 12 come along for the ride. And then what we're going to have to do is add 28 and 39. Now, if you can't do that in your head, just go off to the side. Everyone has to do this and add these guys together. 9 plus 8 is 